Hey everybody, got the RV Wingman here. Hope you're doing well. Now today, we're going to dive into some very interesting insights from Josh, the RV nerd, over at Bish's RV. Now many of you watching may subscribe to his channel and catch his videos. They are excellent. So in this segment from his most recent uh, monthly recap for the month of August, Josh highlights some crucial issues in the RV industry including misleading factory direct sales tactics. That's right, misleading factory direct sales tactics and the current state of RV shipments and sales as of the end of last month. I highly recommend you check out his full video for an in-depth look at these topics. It's a long video, it is, but you'll find a link to it in the description down below. For now though, let's jump right into this particular video where Josh is shedding, shedding some light on how some RV dealers are presenting misleading claims. Imagine that, misleading claims about what they're calling factory direct sales. It never ceases to amaze me how some dealers use these kind of tactics to confuse potential buyers. But I digress. In his monthly recap, Josh also provides a detailed market analysis showing how RV shipments and sales are performing so far this year. And I think it is quite interesting. He does a great job in breaking things down and clearing up possible confusion about the health of the RV industry. But let's not waste any more time. I'd like to know your thoughts in the comments section below. I'll share mine, but first, let's see what Josh has to say. What is being presented to customers is this fictitious idea that somehow you're cutting out the middleman and saving money by getting an RV direct from the manufacturer. And none of that is happening. That's why you're seeing these things advertised on dealership websites, not from an RV manufacturer. The only time a manufacturer can deal directly is if that's basically all they do. So. Um, Escape RV, you never hear me talk about them because they don't go through dealerships and I work exclusively for a dealer, but Escape RV tends to be something that is essentially factory direct, uh, like Tesla, you know? Uh, it's the difference between buying from Tesla versus Ford. You're actually working through a, uh, a, a full company chain. Um, what's happening in these RV direct kind of uh, situations is it's being presented to you that you're getting it straight from the manufacturer, but what happens is, uh, the dealership buys the RV. The manufacturer ships the RV to the dealership's uh, location where it gets prepped and advertised and then you click on it and you buy it and then either you come get it or they ship it to you. Versus at a brick and mortar store with a normal dealership where the dealership buys the RV, gets it shipped to them, preps it, advertises it, and then you come to them or they ship it out to you. It's exactly the same because it is exactly the same. There is no such thing as a dealer working direct for you through a manufacturer. It is all smoke and mirrors. There is something, if there's a difference in price, there is something you're not getting for your money that is not being clearly disseminated to you, that is not being clearly expressed. What that is, I don't know. I will recommend highly to you that you start asking those questions on exactly what am I getting for my money. But frankly, that's a good practice to do anytime, any way. But I have seen multiple multi-store RV dealer groups advertising this direct sales concept when it is literally you're just buying a dealer's unit off of a website. So just be aware of what it is, what you're getting, what maybe you're not getting for your money. And if you still go through that exercise and it looks like it works, great, good for you. You found the right purchase for you. I'm not saying it's a bad model. I'm saying the way it's presented is misleading and I don't like that. I like it when everything is just clear and right in front of me. And I want to maybe clear up those muddy waters for someone else. So apologies for kind of shouting, that whole misleading people to get their business instead of earn their business, it's a trigger factor for me. Um, I'm a little bit passionate about it, but uh, I know that if I was wanting to spend my money, I'd want to know the real deal of Andrew Holyfield on the whole thing. I almost didn't say that correctly. Uh, anyway, moving on. I wanna talk about, as I always do, the market analysis portion of our industry update, uh, sales versus shipments, because, um, Again, depending on who you talk to, one group says, oh, everything is honky-dory, and one group says, everything is in the tank, and 
I think that there's a different reality than either of those presentations, but I'm going to lay it all down for you and, and let you um, kind of decide it for yourself. So first of all, just looking uh, to begin with, to establish some baseline here, um, RV shipments from manufacturers to dealerships so far through the, uh, the, the 2024 calendar year. If you notice, every single month this year, RV shipments have been on the rise as compared to 2023. Uh, the thing is, RV shipments in 2023 were down painfully from the year before because a lot of dealers were very overstocked. Dealers had to sell off of existing inventory and they weren't replacing a lot at the time. Now, since a lot of that legacy inventory has been burned through, although I'll tell you what, there are still some places out there with painfully aged 22s and 3s in stock that cost more to the dealership than a newly replaced 24 or 25. There's some places in some serious trouble right now, I'm telling you. Um, uh, the, the 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 general flow of things has gotten better. Sorry, squirrel, I got, I got a little off tangent there. But um, here's just a quick prediction I'm going to make for you, and we'll see how if this ages uh, like wine or uh, <laughs> like sour milk. I am predicting the first quarter uh, of the 2025 calendar year to be sluggish on shipments because um, the model year change is being moved up by uh, RVIA. Instead of basically July to September, they're basically saying the month of June is when manufacturers really need to have their major model changes changed over. That's going to move the model year forward a little bit. So I think that there's a lot of dealers that are going to sell off their inventory through show season and only keep the really big hit and volume units replacing it in stock so that come June in the middle of summer, their inventories are clean and they could take advantage of all the new stuff and all the new features and all the new floor plans and everything else. And I think that you're going to see a midsummer surge in shipments next year. Well, so there you have it. Some eye-opening insights from Josh, the RV nerd. He's great, isn't he? While I like his channel a lot, I especially appreciate his uh, no-nonsense approach to breaking down the complexities of the RV industry with his monthly updates. I have a link to that full video in the description down below. But before we wrap it up, I want to add my two cents and I'd like to hear yours. I think, I think it is crucial for RV buyers to be aware of these sales tactics and do your homework before making a purchase. The RV market is, it's very dynamic and sometimes it can be very confusing, but staying informed and keeping your finger on the pulse can help you make better decisions and avoid unnecessary pitfalls. But what do you think about the points Josh raised? How do you feel about the factory direct sales? And where do you see the RV market is heading in 2025? Let's keep the conversation going in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you'll never miss an update. Until next time, I'm Alan Warren, the RV Wingman, reminding you, be safe, have fun, play nice, and don't leave your good manners at home. I'll see you in the next video.